Herman, thanks for your time this afternoon. How hard have the first few months of this new Super League season been for you personally? Uh, yeah, personally, you know, obviously, um, the Super League is a different ball game here. It's a lot more physical, I believe. Um, I knew it was going to take a, a while to get used to, and um, I think you know, I'm slowly adapting to it, and um, just like playing in the cold as well at this time is um, pretty hard to get used to, but I'm slowly getting there. I know you came over before Christmas anyway, but the team's performances and results at the start of the year, have they made it difficult to get difficult at all to continue adapting to your new surroundings? Yeah, you know, obviously it's not the results that uh, we've been wanting early in the season, but um, you know, it is, and I have confidence in this team that you know, we can string along um, some wins and um, I'm confident about this week as well. You know, it's been really uh, good at training the last couple of days and um, a couple of easy fixes that are stuff that we need to work on. So, um, you know, obviously you know, it's not the start that we want during the season, but I'm confident that we can get back on track. We'll get on to this week and those fixes that you mentioned, but you of course came here in part due to your, your uncle's experience of Super League. And as a result, how much does it hurt you that you haven't had the most positive of starts to your own Super League career? Yeah, obviously, you know, Ali's uh, been really successful here and he's been here for a number of years, but um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm patient. You know, I know it's not going to be easy at the start, but you know, all you have to do is keep working hard, be patient, and I know we'll, we'll get there. You obviously missed a few games due to suspension, but how would you assess your own performances so far individually? Uh, yeah, um, you know, I missed one game um, the, last, oh, the last few weeks, and uh, but you know, I'm slowly getting there and slowly adapting to um, Super League and um, what it's like playing here in the cold and it. Um, I know it's not an excuse, but um, um, I know I'm finding my feet here and um, can only get better. You mentioned the training's been good this week. I know Tony's spoken about that before. What do you think has been different over the last few days following the Derby defeat? Uh, just our main focus is around defence. Um, you know, yesterday and today, it's a big focus on defence and I felt like you now intensity was um, really up there the last couple of days and um, things that we need to work on defensively and um, had a good look at it in team meetings, team videos and um, yeah, the boys look really sharp out there. You mentioned you've been working on a few fixes. What are they, if you can disclose to us what you've been working on? Oh, just, you know, just the simple things like winning the ruck, um, hitting together, slowing down the ruck and um, getting our line set, spacings, numbers and all that kind of jazz. So um, yeah, it's just normal um, defensive um, tactics. Um, after the Derby defeat, one word that Tony Smith used a lot was desperate, being desperate in defence and showing that desperation. Why do you think it took you as a group until 28-0 down to start showing that level of desperation in defence? Um, yeah, I'm not, not too sure, uh, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it shouldn't take you know, for us to be 28-0 down to know that we, we are... Um, we do have that desperation in us and we just need to you know, start fast, start the game fast and start strong. And um, Yeah, it just comes down to you know, um, defensively winning the ruck and um, slowing down the play of the ball and, um, and all that. So, um, yeah, I just know that you know, we, we do have that desperation in us. Uh, just, we just need to start it and start of the games. What would you say to supporters who watch that first half and have concerns about you know, we mentioned that desperation and that will go hand in hand with effort and desire and commitment. What would you say to support self concerns about that with this group? I was just um, saying, though, know, um, we, we know that we can definitely fix that. And um, you know, the boys are looking really good the last couple of days of training and um, really eager to fix, uh, fix those easy fixes and uh, become a really um, desperate team from the start, from the get go. So um, you know, we're confident that we can start strong and start fast. Um, and after that, we can string along some wins. Of course, I'm sure you're aware the stats don't paint a particularly great picture of the defence this season. Mm -hmm. Would you say that desperation has been there at points during the opening couple of months? Um, yeah, here and there, I guess. Um, but no, I still know that we've got a, um, a lot of work to do, but um, we're on the right track. Um, and it's not just um, defensively as well. It's off the ball as well, just being smarter and just keeping it simple. So. Um, I know if we can get those two things right, it will be sweet. Tony Smith as well has spoken about the project here. It's a long-term process that the club is going through as a whole. You joined on a three-year contract, so what do you see your role as within that project? Uh, main role is uh, just bringing my experience from NRL um, and just helping out young fellas. Obviously, it's a young team and um, 
yeah, it's a different ball game here. And I know myself when I was a teenager, I always looked up to the older fellas, more experience, and kind of helped me throughout my career. So, yeah, just um, helping out where I can, sharing my knowledge with the young fellas, and um, yeah, just kind of being their leadership role. How are you finding handling the younger members of the squad, particularly through a difficult period as such as this, but also you know the positivity that they're bringing to the camp, such as Jack Charles at the weekend. Mm, no, they've been nothing but respectful. You know, they they're all sponges. You know, they really want to learn, and you know, sometimes you know, or every time the senior boys speak, um, they're always you know listening and um, taking it on board. So. Um, yeah, it's a lot of potential in this room. Our young fellas coming up, and um, yeah, I know they've got big futures ahead of them, and we just got to try and guide them through the right path. I mentioned the process and the project earlier. How do you keep supporters on side during it amid growing apathy within the fan base at the moment? Um, simple, just win games. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we haven't been giving much um, for the supporters to, you know, to cheer, cheer us on, but... Um, I just want to say, you know, just have some faith in us. You know, I know I'm confident in this playing group that we can string some wins along and, um, and hopefully go deep into the season. Of course, looking ahead, you've had the injuries, you've had suspensions, you've played most games up until Friday without having the full complement of 13 on the pitch. But now that you've had that, how aware are you as a group that you haven't got any more excuses to fall back on, I suppose, now? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, we haven't really had our full strength team um, the last month, but you know, that's not an excuse. You know, everyone in the squad, whoever comes in to fill in those um, roles, we have a lot of confidence in them. Um, you know, there's a reason why they're in the team. So, uh, But you know, it, it would be nice to have our full strength team, and um, obviously we've been unlucky with suspensions and injuries, but um, you know, that's not an excuse. We still have a lot of faith in, um, in the boys that are coming in. So... Um, yeah, obviously it would be nice to have our full strength team, but you know, always have faith in the boys coming in. You mean Huddersfield Giants again for the second time in the space of two weeks. What's changed from that game, both within your own camp and for them as well, given they've picked up back-to-back -back wins since then? Yeah, um, this morning we had a look at um, our first game uh, a couple of weeks against them, and yeah, it just comes back to our defence. Um, simple things like you know controlling the rug, inside pressure, um, getting our numbers and spacings right and um, hunting from the inside. So all those little things that um, we know that we can do better, um, yeah, just, just need to um, do that against Huddersfield. You, of course, want a win, but looking at the performance, what would represent progress for you in terms of something that you could cling on to moving forwards? Um, just the boys um, working hard. Um, that same effort that we had against Catalans, obviously we didn't win, but you know, the effort was there and... Um, you know, if we don't win this week, hopefully we can show some effort and something for the fans to cheer, cheer on. And, but I'm confident heading into this week. Evan, thanks for your time. Thank you. Hi, Evan. Um, when you see differences in physicality in Super League, is that in terms of hit ups and, and rock and things like that? I mean, what, what are the specifics there? Um, yeah, just physically um, going, to, going to the tackle. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure, um, but I know it's uh, after every game here, and then my body's banged up, and I uh, don't really feel like that. Um, back at home in NRL, it's more technical back at home, uh, where over here is um, a lot more bashing and um, and all that, so yeah. Is that going to help, obviously, likes of yourself, but Franklin as well, you know, two you know, big prop forwards. Mm. As you get accustomed to this league, you know, that... Maybe that style, that emphasis, that can really help your games as you go forward? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, there's a reason why uh, me and Frank are here. So, um, yeah, we're just trying to keep it simple. And obviously, use us, go through the middle, knock down the front door, and um, that's what we do best. So, And I um, feel like our game style um, really adapts to that, to that physicality here in Super League. So, um, yeah, that's the reason why we're here. Is there an emphasis on the side then to play, to play more direct? It's something Neil said last week when he was in press. Uh, maybe, you know, jump off the rope more from and just play direct rather than more lateral? Yeah, 100%. Um, like I said, you know, all we have to do is just go forward. You know, rugby league's a simple game. It's all about possession. Um, just go forward, knock, knock, knock the front door and, um, you know, earn the right to shift. Um, so, yeah, and there is a, a lot of joy um, throughout, uh, through the middle. So, um, yeah. Also, the derby or sweep the second half, I mean, I told you this question, but... How much can you take from that second half performance, knowing that it was a lot better 
and but they have to start that way against Huddersfield. I mean, how much can you take from you know showing that effort and showing that spirit in the second half? Yeah, you know, take a lot of confidence from that second half. Um, obviously, like I said before, it shouldn't take for us to be twenty eight nil down to to start like that, or start the games like that. So um, you know, we know that we have that in us. I uh, just gotta um, start fast, start strong like that, like we did in the second half in the first half. Obviously, five games into your whole career now. I mean, what can we expect from yourself now going forward? Like, like what are the attributes you're hoping to stamp on this side, you know, this spring and this summer? Yeah, it's been a lot of experience and leadership within this team. Um, like I said, now I'm here to um, you know try and um, help out where I can, especially with the young fellas and. Um, and yeah, just play my game. Uh, I feel like um, my play style um, really suits here, and um, I know I'm only five games in, but I'm really confident that I can I keep getting better. Is that the case for the whole squad? I mean, it was sort of similar run of results last year, but one thing we noticed is that the morale never dipped no matter what happens. So, mm. is that the case again this year? Yeah, hundred percent. No, obviously, um, you know the last last month hasn't really been our best. Um, you know, we haven't really well, we won one game from the last month so but you know, we always try and stick together uh, keep the morale up um, and just keep positive and look forward to the next game cheers Evan thank you hi Evan um, just change a slight subtle change of tense going back into the NRL uh, went under Wayne Bennett at Dolphins um, regarded as one of the best coaches in the world what, what's it like to work under it has been really awesome uh, for myself personally um you know, obviously he's probably one of the greatest coaches of all time in the rugby league and um, I'm just really fortunate and grateful that I got to play under him you know, three to four years and uh, just being coached from him, mentored from him, um, yeah, it's, he definitely elevated my game um, as a youngster coming up. Uh, and obviously you're coming over here now uh, and you, you're probably working with the most respected coach in Super League, is there any similarities between Wayne and Tony? Yeah, definitely, um, you know, obviously both Wayne and um, Tony have been coaching for years, uh, both been successful as well. So um, I think that they just know how the game works uh, inside and out and really smart and how they approach trainings, how they approach games. And um, it's not just on the field as well, off the field as well. They're really caring. Uh, they care how your family is going um, and how everything else is going off the field just as much as on the field. So, um, and I kind of feel like they're kind of mentors as well instead of coaches as well so um, that's what Wayne was like towards me and um, players playing under him he's more of a mentor he's kind of like a dad as well so um, yeah a lot of similarities there. Okay and, and Tony's mentioned when he first came and he reiterates it every now and again about Hull FC being a, a one big family um, is that the case um, from what you're looking at right now? Yeah 100% um, not just within the club but within the community as well everyone's been so welcoming um, everyone's been um, so supportive as well, although we haven't been you know, where we want to be, but um, I still see the love and support from all the, the whole FC supporters there, and um, which is really refreshing to see and really um, you know, a confidence booster for us. So you know, we all, all we want to do is um, you know, try to make them proud. and yeah.